When you create a bunch of documents in a mail merge, you might not want to print all of the documents created by Word. In this video, I show you three different ways that you can print just what you want to print from the merge. When you use the Mail Merge feature of Word, you have the capability to either merge to the printer or to merge to a new document. Choosing the latter is often the best alternative since you have the ability to inspect your output before actually printing. What happens if you need to only print a portion of your merged documents, however? For instance, I have a merged document on the screen. It consists of 320 single-page memos. You can see the word shows there are 320 pages in this document. Now suppose that I only need to print memos 100 through 110 for some reason. You might think that the answer is to print only a range of pages, meaning pages 100 through 110. If you try to do this with a mail merged document, however, you will not get the expected result. Watch what happens if I try to specify that I want to print pages 100 through 110. I press Ctrl P to bring up the back office area of Word. And here in the pages area, I can specify that I want to print 100 through 110, just like that. If I go and print this, I'm not going to get anything that comes out of the printer. I definitely won't get the pages that I want. This occurs because Word inserts a section break between each merged record that it adds to your document. You can see this quite easily if I go back to the document. I'm going to press Escape to get back there. Now I'm going to turn on the Show Hide tool right up here. Notice that the non-printing characters are now visible on the screen. And if I scroll down just a bit, you can see that there's a section break right after this first memo. And then we're into the second memo down here. What this section break means is that despite what Word shows you in the status bar, when you print 320 copies of a single page memo, you have 320 page ones, not pages 1 through 320. Does that sound confusing? It can be if you don't understand how sections work within a document. Every time a new section is started, Word starts counting page numbers over again. To get around this problem, you have three alternatives. First, you can simply start deleting pages until you only have left your desired pages that you want to print. I call this the brute force method, and it's not always the best choice. The second option is to replace all the section breaks in the merged document with page breaks. This is done rather easily. All you have to do is press Ctrl H, which brings up the Find and Replace dialog box. And what you want to search for is a caret. Now that's a Shift 6. It looks like an upward pointing arrow there a caret followed by the letter B. That's the code for a section break. And now here in the replace with, we're going to search for a caret. I'm sorry, we're going to replace with a caret, that same shift six character, followed by the M. That's the code for a page break. Now I can click on replace all. It shows that it made 320 replacements. I click on OK. Close this, and now if I scroll down, you can see that it has a page break there. Now I could go ahead and print, if I wanted to, pages 100 through 110, just like normal, and it would be fine. Notice, however, that this changed our formatting a little bit. After the page break, instead of this heading being centered, like it is up here in the first memo, it's left justified, and it's going to be that way for every single one after this. That's just one of the side effects of using a page break instead of a section break. I'm going to go ahead and press Ctrl Z to get rid of that. And now you can see that what we have is centered here. 
we have a section break instead of the page break, and our secondary headings look just fine on each of the other pages. Now this brings us to the third solution. This approach is perhaps the fastest and the easiest. All you need to do is remember that in your merged document, you are working with sections instead of pages. Thus, if you want to print out the memos for records 100 through 110, you would change exactly how you wanted to print. I'm still going to press Control P to go back to the print area, the back office. And here in this pages area, instead of just saying 100 through 110, I'm going to say S100 through S110. What I've done is I've specified that I want to print sections 100 through 110. And if I print it at this point, I'm going to get all of the 11 documents that I actually want to have printed. The S indicates that we're specifying a section range as opposed to a normal page range. Now, even though I focused on a mail merged document in this video, you need to remember that the printing technique described in this third approach doesn't apply only to mail merged documents. It applies to any document that may contain section breaks. The idea is that if your document contains multiple sections and you want to print only a portion of the document, you need to take the section numbers into account in specifying what to print. You do that by including the section indicators in the page ranges. Now, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the subscribe button and then click the bell icon. That way you'll be informed whenever I add a new video to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.